I'm Clayne Crawford. You're watching Life Minute TV. When we sold The Killing of Two Lovers, we made a little bit of money, and it was like, why don't we just put it right back into something else, right? Instead, it's like, what are we going to do? Go to like, you know, get steak dinners, or do we go just kind of continue the journey? So, we went back through our slate of material that we had, and as I was saying before, I felt like this film had quite a bit of relevance when we developed it in 2008 with the housing crisis, but after COVID, I, I think a lot of people were kind of questioning their lives and where they lived, what cities, and were there resources available if something actually did happen that was catastrophic. This was a fun little movie that, you know, was just kind of a family affair. Um, Clayne, who's starring in it and produced it, um, you know, called me up and asked if I want to come down to Alabama and uh, make a little movie during the pandemic. And so uh, it was such a gift uh, to go down there and hang with your buddies and, and do something during the pandemic. I was so sick of being locked up in the house, you know? It was kind of a last minute thing, you know? Crawford called and uh, I jumped on a plane and we just figured it out, you know? Like we get down there and, you know, we had notes with Robert, the writer director, and, and tweaked a couple things here and there, but it was, you know, this was kind of a run and gun kind of deal. This was a little bit different than, than most jobs where you have the luxury of kind of, um, you know, time, you know, low budget filmmaking is uh, is exciting, but it's also very quick. You got to move fast. You got to, you know, so you got to stay open to things and let, let it come to you. Yeah, I saw it in my little town because, again, it was COVID. No one wanted to leave. And being in this little tiny community in northern Alabama where, you know, the nearest house is half a mile away, you know, you can have, it does. It didn't feel as dangerous, right? So uh, I just, my community has been supportive of me as an actor for many, many years and so kind and loving. And when they, when I said I wanted to bring something to us, to our town, they all jumped on board to kind of help us. And um and when I talk about help, it's like, I mean, I use all my family's homes as locations. I use my parents' cars as picture cars. Like, we wanted all of the money to go on the screen and not for the little stuff, you know. And uh, I'm super grateful for that opportunity. And yeah, my children, they're not only they in the movie, my son and I built sets. We, we, we bought all the wardrobe together. We bought all the props together. So it was a, it was a beautiful experience that I'm super grateful for.